Well, we're in a fish. Well, I'll be. It's probably pretty gross. This smells like a ripe distillery with a whiff of halitosis and urine. That's a scent of unrecognized genius. It's a piss off. More empties than a Dublin brewery. The carpenter sent me. For starters, the carpenter is a pusillanimous, parsimonious, petty fogging moron. That's his maybe, but he sent me for this script. I need... Your needs are shite. I need a drink. Who cares? I need those responsible for my abortive career in chains. No joy. I need to know what love is. The world is mum. Just now, I need a dose of hide and seek. Find me thrice, fair maid. Be quick about it. And we can deal. Career is ruined, and I'm a drunkard, and I hate everything. Oh, let's let's play hide and seek, Alice. <laughs> I, like I desperately need true colors. I can see. But he can't conceal the way he moves. I like the way you move, octopus. Writing's an apt occupation for an octopus. He never Oops. runs out of ink. Here's my manuscript. It's written in my body fluids. Where the ink flows, the octopus goes. Yeah, Follow okay. the ink. Yeah, sure. Okay. Get out of buddy. Performers to die for. Oh, duh. Fish with a lot of eyes. It's Blinky. <laughs> oh, man, that is a long distance pig. Can we get him? Yeah. Yeah, we can. Yeah, pig. I'll try and fight it. Also, how does Alice smell underwater? <laughs> Horrible! <laughs> So the thing with the, these bottles yes. is that the octopus is hiding in one of them. That's true. But but it's not randomized. <laughs> so you can go directly to his bottle and bust him. Yeah, but you know, like the first time you play through it, you know, it doesn't really matter if it's randomized or not. If the first time you play through it, like me, you'll probably walk by the one he's actually in and not realize it's breakable. Fabulous Wizard Sisters. That's like a great show. Yeah. Also, I know that the, the performance is called Toten Tons, which, if you speak German, it means you should probably not go to that show. As it means Dance of Death. Or Death Dance, depending on how exactly you want to be about it. Oh, well, it says death on our tickets that she got from uh, the Mark Turtle. Oh, okay. So it's not actually uh, that subtle. Damn, I thought I was picking up on something. Poots. Oh. Why does the camera zoom out? That's the weirdest thing. It's like there's something here you want to... Oh. oh this is too not. easy. We have to find him three times. Get you, you smug out of this. Oh. Good work, our higher functioning sanity, putting us directly to the octopus. You can, you can. I, would, I always thought, like, the thing that we do is make the bottle black so you could see the ink. You think so. But, but they actually just, like, you have to look for his model in the actual wine. It's kind of weird. Which makes you wonder if that, that comment that the uh, Cheshire Cat put about ink, like, that doesn't actually help at all, does it? N no. There's no real ink involved anywhere. No. What a butthole. Thanks, Cheshire. Ass. The Cheshire ass. Oh. Oh, you have me now. You won't oh, have we'll me have you again. whenever we want, Octopus. Mmm. -hmm. That what? starfish has a nose and a mustache. <laughs> Just wanted to point that out. <laughs> Good work, artist. I appreciate your work there. I see the, the tooth economy has moved almost exclusively to gold teeth. 
Yeah, I'm getting a little rusty. Remote in time and space has only as much power as vivid memory offers it. And starfish oh. with giant eyeballs be super terrifying. I'm glad they don't actually have those. Oh. Well, they they do have eyes on every one of their limbs. I did not know that. Wait, or or it might not be eyes, but it's like noses and and ears and mouths. Or something is really freaky. That's where their their sensory apparatus lies. Yeah. Long failure. Stay down. You got like one hit left in you, ass. There we go. All right. Now we can move on to their lives via time warp. One special bottle. You have to give the, the octopus credit though, if he really wanted to win hide and seek, he could win pretty easily. <laughs> he, he could, but you know. Yeah, he's he's got an enduring sense of fairness and it wouldn't be a, you know he wouldn't have the thrill of the chase if it was up there. Which is his real addiction. Or he, I think he just wanted to drink the wine in the bottle. <laughs> With his whole body. I'm reading in a story that sloths like to get drunk. I wonder if Octopi are actually now party. <laughs> How do sloths get drunk? I... They drink? Grog? Oh. But how do you define alcohol in nature? It was a... Uh, a book by the... it's not nature, it's, it was in a book by the guy who wrote Master and Commander. It's all in the game. A fair cop. You've won. You're a good sport. And no one died. Join me in the library. Unlike some, I know Welsh. Uh, well, being lazy and being a drunkard kind of go hand in hand. <sighs> yeah. Also being Irish. Boom! The Carpenter commissioned a song and dance number on morality. Art and good sense be damned. He demands mirth, silliness, and restrained debauchery all round. Wallace will do a hero turn as death. Imagine! I'll bring the script to the finish. You can be on your way. No doubt Carpenter has got you collecting pisky and divas for the musical portion. The man rarely hires a proper talent. Some fish can sing, but not all. That is a wonderful typewriter you have there. <laughs> not for lack of trying. <laughs> it just kind of goes through him. <laughs> we would kill you if we had the means, octopus. Ah, well. So that's one of three down. Alright, now we just need to get... Art. The, the performers and the music. Some kind of fish song. Oh, look at these nice little lit umbrella things. Yeah, thankfully it's a little brighter here. Oh, hello, giant silly bottlefish. I'm not terribly musical, but you seem out of tune. It's not my fault. I can't hear my notes. The pipes are obstructed. I can see that. Why not do something about it? And endanger my vocal cords. You might do it for Everyone me. Everyone here has an excuse for doing nothing. Reminds me of the asylum. I, I like that Alice points out that she doesn't like people not doing shit themselves. Yeah. But then she still has to anyway. Well, you know, as Alice is kind of the the prime mover and god of this world, it is only fair that she does most of the work. <laughs> you wanna overthink it a little bit? And I do. Oh! Oops. That was gross. <laughs> Breath! Alright, so the thing is, we have this three path, yellow, blue, and red. 
And you might think, it's like, oh, which do we go first? Wow, that is, it's exciting. But it doesn't really matter at all. Oh. They're, they're all three mostly the same thing. Yeah, and they're, they're basically let's go, connected, so. Let's go to yellow first. Oh, it's a pile of baby. So it's not areas, they're just little alcoves here. There's rooms, yeah. More's the pity. And all of them have this blob caused by corruption. Dun 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 dun. And that just means beat the enemies. Here, fight some dudes. Oh no, camera, come on! Yeah, uh, yeah. I kinda stuck. That, that's a we just want to exist as physical objects in this universe. Yeah, thankfully the the, the rabbit calls for a nice destruction. Yeah, the rabbit really did a bang up job. Trying to get that rabbit a bonus. Oh. All three missed. Great. I'm starting to think the fighting in that corner is not a good idea. Oh, you silly corruption. That's not an Alice. That's a cannibal. There we go. And then it turns. It all the gooey disappears. You can smash it. Oh! Obviously, there's an oct set of octopus arms playing the drums. <laughs> yep. Obviously. And they pipe out. No. Yeah, that's how music works. Okay. Alice, you are not terribly musical. You've made a respectable start to it, but a decent job would require considerably more application. I'm sure you'd like to do a decent job. Passive aggressive dick fish. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Okay. This is the kind of, uh, the. This is where the lounge music comes from, as you can tell by the soft pink decor. It sets the mood for a slow and sultry performance. Also, crab cannoneers. Also, crab. <laughs> also, that's where you eat crabs. Now, just friend, this is an important question with uh, serious cultural relevance. Uh, okay. When, when you guys cook crabs in Belgia, what do you see? I, I rarely eat crab. That is the correct answer. It's, you it's not really a, a common thing to eat. Oh, weird. Okay. Because, well, I think the, the crabs we get in the North Sea are really, really small. It's so not necessarily worth bothering with. Them. And, you know, it's expensive, and people are cheap. <laughs> Just eat your potatoes and chicken, don't complain. As a guy who hates all food that comes from the sea, I think you've chosen correctly and not eating them. Ugh, I... <laughs> That's all well and good, but my range needs a fully functional orchestra. I do like grey shrimp. There's a lot of shrimp at the North Sea. Okay. But uh, that's pretty damn expensive. Shrimp are, are relatively inoffensive too, like it's hard to have too much trouble with shrimp. Hmm. As a guy who, like I've said, hates the sea, I can grow shrimp is fine. Salmon can go F itself. Right in the A. Probably don't see a lot of salmon. Trust me, it's a no, no, there's, there's, I have eaten plenty of salmon. I don't know your fish culture back oh. well, there's fish everywhere, so people eat fish everywhere, <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Except for people that live by the Great Salt Lake. They only eat salt lake. <laughs> it's fine, they, they just, they just fish in the salt lakes and it's already seasoned. It's, it's, it's perfect. They're pre-preserved. For their pleasure. Yeah, this they were just preserved from three thousand years ago when it was a normal lake. <laughs> Ancient salt god. 
Delicious. Oh, just heal over already. Warping you as hard as we can. This is the last one, I think. I kind of zone out for a bit. <laughs> I think this is the last one. Yeah. It is pretty much just a one big fight arena split into three chunks. No, I can understand yeah. why. Oh, now we're getting the beautiful fish song. There's something wrong. I can't find the time for the nerve. It's surely not lost. Perhaps mislaid. I suppose I'll have to help you carry the tune. Better be light. Oh. Uh, are you ready? Are we going to play some, <laughs> some Ocarina of Time action here? Are we going to play some uh, pretty cool... Yeah, Guitar Hero. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Invigorating. Tell me this isn't super exciting. I I would like to applaud their seeking out additional minigame types, but this is not a particularly exciting one. <laughs> the audience will be grateful for your efforts. I doubt it. The performers need your efforts will be enhanced by my musical score. Please wake them with this exciting news. It's a good thing that you can swim away, but it's a good thing that the the, the colors for the notes were actually correspondent to my PlayStation 3 controller. Oh, that could be Even though the game thinks I'm using an Xbox 360 controller. Mm -hmm. There's a shadow agenda of Sony loyalists. <laughs> it, it made it easier to uh, rhythm it, so I don't have to look like to my buttons. <laughs> it's okay, we can't tell. <clears throat> or do whatever you want. Oh, it's all brown and gooky. You, uh... Not burned beyond recognition, as I recall. It was the smoke, you see. One day, you'll be joining them in the Oxford family Why would you vault, tell a young person? <laughs> but his kind of goal is, like, to get her inheritance, so yeah. maybe he wants him her dead. Still, it's a very, like... Bold way to announce that yo, you're gonna die. Two down, not your friend. Go. Oysters are the presumptive stars of the show. If you can wake them. What if they have are in a coma? Um. <laughs> what if? Oh, there's our third register room. Oh, delightful. <laughs> Any guesses to what the thing will be? Um. We'll have to race the mock turtle in a jet ski. Oh! God damn it! No. <laughs> I can smell my. You get to do another one of these. <laughs> Close enough. So I just sped it up a lot. It's it's actually shorter than the other one, but it's just like you've seen everything, and the, and the the water is so dirty that it's hard to see anything. Yeah, else. they like. Took any possibility of being nice to look uh, at and just covered in poop filter. It's yep. horrible. Realistic uh, water. Yeah, yeah, I suppose. <laughs> all those bombs going off really scare up all the silt. Oh, don't be sad, Mega Alice. We're gonna get you through this. You grow up and have a nice school for crazy kids. Okay. It, it is really kind of unfortunate. This relatively pretty area, you now enter the poop zone where everything is poop colored. Yeah. 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 Not really poop zone, yeah. <laughs> Get in the zone. Poop zone. Man, you styled on that crab so hard. Yeah. Oh, and then you get but sometimes it doesn't work because of invulnerability frames. That was still. I bet that crab is super embarrassed. He's too smug to be ever embarrassed. Because, <laughs> oh. come on, look at that cigar. Oh, I meant to do that. You ain't had one over on old crabby hands. <laughs> Not fooling anyone, crabby hands. Get your meat. Get your meat. 
your horrible green gross blood. That's no, I never really noticed that. I guess crabs have green blood. Full of PC, apparently. You just interrupted my dreams. Oh well. Off to the oh. show, I suppose. <laughs> That's oh, fly away. It's really have to. Just keep flying, little oyster. Don't look back. There's a lot of moa heads around here. Damn. <laughs> Well, uh, the, the Moa being masters of the sea, which they must have been to reach their home, uh, got around a lot. It, ah, that's the real Atlantis. <laughs> the, the ancient, the ancient people, yeah. Yeah, the ancient home of the Moa. <laughs> uh, the, the Easter Island mystery. Yep. Oh, Easter Island is Atlantis. <gasps> now it all makes sense. It was Atlantis before they suffered the ecological collapse of their environment. Oh. That was the actual falling beneath the sea. The sea of their own greed. <laughs> oh, why is it so poopy? It saps my will to live. Oh, look at this. That doesn't look fun to platform. But we don't have to. Because we're magic, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're magic. <laughs> magic rules. Yeah, we are. Magic's the best. I'm glad you're a wizard, Chad. Me too. <laughs> I'm glad I'm I'm glad I'm I'm an actual wizard and not a poop wizard. That's best. Oh. Gotta yeah, just celebrate and get back and the poop, poop wizards are the worst, because I just fling poop at you. Like, that's not even fair. Why would you want to be poop with me? Really Yours was not the first brick home to be destroyed by fire. I will say that though it's not super fun to watch, but this area does have a lot of opportunities for long distance jump gliding, which is, I like that. I like long distance jump gliding. It's just too bad it's the poop sound. Well wait, we already have enough teeth to max out a purple plate. Yeah. And because of the bug, we only have one thing left to upgrade. <laughs> and now we're in chapter two. Oh man. Oh, well. Now we got some pretty dope like Super Street yeah. Fighter 4 ink bloods going on. Like it. Now you get the, the secret focus attack. You can break the guard of your enemies. Oh, shot you right in the rabbit. My most sensitive rabbit parts. See, somehow it doesn't work. That was kind of weird. I think the rabbit might have a max number of targets that it can affect at any given moment. I think hmm. it only ever damages three things around it. It's not an actual life area. But I might be just making stuff up. I think just the the, the area, of effect, area of effect is just really good. It was also quite likely. In fact, more likely. Now we're never actually making funny game references because of shady deposits. <laughs> Just can't help it. Oh, that's so good. Still love you, Slam. Welcome to the jam. Good morning, sweetie. We still need the star. The star. That's, the star. It's a weird thing to do before you can get to work. <laughs> <laughs> All right. She might not be going to work. Maybe she's gonna get go at her go get her hair did. Right, so the last the last star is gonna be a little bit different. It's not gonna be a fight to wake her up because she's already awake. She's a dark queen of the poop zone. Well, I don't think she is. Oh, cube. Oyster. You're puzzled. Oh, is it a slatty block button? Help me, Alice. This poster for the show, it's ruined. If I can't put it back together, Carpenter will grind my pearls. Oh, grind her shell. 
<laughs> that really grinds my shell. Before we can do the slightly black puzzle, we still need to find the four missing blocks. <laughs> Alright then. Thank you, Chuckboard. The game needs needs to tell you what a slightly black puzzle is. <laughs> yeah, I remember getting this exact screen and being like, fuck, slightly black puzzle. <laughs> it's actually really not hard at all. Yeah. I've just been trained from an early age. So a proper really order of things is often a mystery. Uh, I, I used to used you to too. make them a lot. There was always these these. these I don't know. You you always got them from all kind of places. I remember that I had like dozens of these really small plastic things that were just block slidey block puzzles. Yeah, something to keep the kids amused while they wait for their order or whatever. Yeah, probably something like that. Yeah. And now they don't need to do that. Cause They'll have pay pads. Yeah, or I guess 3DSs or whatever. Now they all have Nintendos. Back in my day, we had shitty plastic sliding block puzzles. We liked them. Or the little tiger electronic games, where it only had like two pre-made frames. Yeah, yeah, those. I'm really glad the kids today don't have to accept with that. Oh my god. You should not fight against the wall. Yeah, now they have to suffer Call of Duty. See, grab. Yeah, Krabs kinda. in a very strategic spot. Crab sniper! Because enemies can't jump, yeah. so. So his spot works really great until you decide to go get him. He's deeply, deeply sorry. Oh, yeah, we got it. It's time to queue. Cube, 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 cube it up. Let's play Cubert. Okay. He said waiting expectantly. Uh, uh, it. It's not, there's not going to be a jump cut to Qbert, I'm sorry. <laughs> I think you really missed an opportunity there. Yeah, I guess. If only I knew what I'd come up with right now. <laughs> if only you were a time wizard. Sorry, I, I chastise myself for that same phrase all the time. Why did I ever drop out of time college? Damn it, blast. Hello, tiny keyhole. Do you have any blocks? I do. Yes. I didn't actually expect there to be a block in here. Yeah, one of the few moments where you have to actually have to go into a keyhole. Yeah. We're coming. Just one more. Little Esther, just keep your shell on. Don't their shells only open when they're dead? Um, hmm. Oh. That means they're... Or they eat? Probably. <laughs> I don't see how they eat anymore. Oh, that one moves very quickly. Ah. But there's still a little something over there. Some. Well, some, some. Yeah. Because we're gonna get locked out of this area if I collect the cube. It's gonna transport me back. You are the reason that coral reefs are and dying torments at a distance where they may be uh, easily forgotten. I sure am. <laughs> Everyone needs a hobby. Oh. Alright. This time it's for real. Get your bunnies out. Nice. No hesitation. No regret. You kind of just have to risk it, because you're not gonna actually like spend like a minute to memorize the patterns. Jeez. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Alright. How do we do the spots? Um, you slide the thing is over the dingus. 
and then the starring goes to the wingus. We have 24 moves to do this, oh. but I only need 5. Um, just pick them up. Oh, 6. 6 moves. Let us resume our place before our adoring fans at the theatre. <laughs> it's, it's it's good on them to not force you uh, to spend 30 minutes trying to solve this puzzle. <laughs> Alright, we've, we've mm. done our job, the show is ready to begin. Or... it is. Oh, oh good. <laughs>